Well, it's dark, it's gloomy, it's miserable and wet, but I ventured out of my comfy slippers and I'm down here on the allotment plot. Show you the current state of things and have a little bit of a natter over what could potentially be some autumn and winter projects. Without further ado, let's dig in, if you pardon the pun. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground Far from a worries and troubling sound Honestly, I came down here this morning to do this video and I forgot a few things so I had to go back home so it's now the afternoon but I mean this just kind of sums everything up really let me show you this I was presented here with a pigeon that was there without its head so I've had to spade that up and I've chucked it in the field over there but that kind of sums up where I am really with allotment gardening at the moment it literally has rained non-stop all weekend I've just been sitting indoors sort of planning and thinking about what to do with my allotment plot over autumn and winter but it's nothing really quite like sort of coming down here and I tell you what when it's raining I just love coming down here and just having a bit of a wander and a ponder thinking about things to do let me just pop my bag down give you a tour of my allotment plot here and what state it's in right now so I've got a whole load of beans there that need harvesting they have had their day now I don't think they're going to be producing much more and these beans to be fair have been sitting on here for a good week so I'm not even certain how tasty they're going to be but I'm going to get those off in the next day or two when it stopped raining down this thin raised bed here I've got some Swiss chard which I'm going to harvest as well here at the back here I've got a tripod of beans I'm not even certain what beans these are I think they're these ones that you're supposed to dry out and then shell I'm not too sure but I've got loads of those to pick and then I've got my Kentucky Wonder Wax here which is basically full of beans so watch out for that video because that's going to be coming well whenever it stops raining I'm going to come down here for a few hours and I'm going to harvest literally everything on my allotment plot in one go so if you haven't already done so subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video you can look at these leaks and yeah for some reason all these leaks seem to be doing really well on the allotment they're a bit of a success amongst dead pigeons a whole bunch of carrots to harvest in these raised beds you take you further down here I've got a sprout plant here which looks like it's doing okay you know so I've got some hope on the sprout plants but we're getting a lot of weeds that are coming through now look at these so I've got to spend some time pulling those out probably putting some more wood chips down I kid you not I would say this is probably the worst state my allotment plot has been in since allotment gardening because I've left it for a few weeks and we're kind of transitioning aren't we between that summer and autumn time and there's just so many jobs to do I'm looking round here and I can just see <laughs> yeah there is a lot that needs doing but there's plenty of time autumn and winter to do that. When I first got the plot I was just dead eager to get everything done straight away but now I'm going a bit more slow paced, a bit measured and I'm going to slowly chip away at this over the next few weeks to get this allotment plot you know really in a good state before the cold weather sets in. You take you down to the polytunnels in my previous video you will have seen that I put some kale in this polytunnel in some sacks and in here I put some cabbage so let me show you how we're getting on with those see that's something else I've got to look at is the state of these polytunnels because I mentioned it in the previous video <laughs> this polytunnel the rate is deteriorating there'll be nothing left of it by the time we get to Christmas and in here well all I can show you 
is a bunch of decimated kale plants and that's quite depressing really I put these in less than a week ago and I've only got one two three and three and a half kale plants and I've got some tape there that looks like someone's thrown a roll of toilet paper in here it's a bit of a depressing sight in this polytunnel and I think that's what the position we're in at the moment is that a lot of things are changing and these I cannot believe these have just disappeared so quickly I thought that slugs were I thought the slugs were gone but it shows how much I know but look at all this perforating if that's the term away and look you can even see it in the sacks look see all the plastic that's now all falling into the sacks this is depressing stuff and enough to stamp anyone's allotment plot motivation but one job at a time you can't just do all this in one go can you and you can't let it get you down you just got to pick off one thing but yeah there's lots of work to be done in here let's have a look in the other one just before we go in the other one i've got this massively overgrown pumpkin squash patch with a load of tomato plants that i've just chucked here so there's a lot to be done clearing up there and also look at the state of this at the back here so much wood and crap that I've just thrown over here. I don't think it's fair that I should have the back of my allotment plot looking like that. It doesn't deserve that, but yeah, it's been the worst state it's ever been. Hopefully these cabbages have done all right. Let's have a look. Oh, oh to be fair, these are doing okay, actually. These have survived the past four or five days anyway. Got a whole load more there that I'm gonna put in somewhere. So yeah, these are these are a bit of a positive. No perishing on this polytunnel yet, but it is a year younger than the other one. So many, so many jobs to do. Let's get in the greenhouse. And the greenhouse is another area that I've just neglected over recent weeks and you just can't do this with allotment gardening if you leave it for a few weeks you're just into a load of trouble. It's gas. Even the doors, you know, this door one day if I'm not careful it's just going to completely come off that hinge so that needs fixing. But if we go in here I've got a bunch of tomatoes that I picked still need to take home and yeah these are my pepper plants that I was really in love with these pepper plants and I don't know what's happened I've just let them go does anybody else do this with their allotment you go absolutely crazy in the first part of the year and then when the summer comes the initial harvests are great and you just you're loving it you're loving every minute of it coming down here proudly taking stuff home and then as you get to sort of early September it just fizzles out doesn't it and I can't, a lot of these peppers I'd really spent a long time coming in here and nurturing them I have just haven't cared about them at all in the last couple of weeks look at these though they're gorgeous as well but I'm gonna save these as well for this grand big end of summer harvest that I'm gonna do later this week if it ever stops raining random things like chairs that have just appeared in places and yet my motivation levels have just I don't know I've had a lot going on this summer and I don't have to make excuses, no, no one has to make excuses do they for their allotment plot. You know you're either going mad at it or you're not 
and yeah it's just it's completely got away with me and I definitely need to spend some time over the next few weeks getting this going because this is my happy place and I love this garden but this has been by far the worst it's ever looked it doesn't even stop there because what I'll do is now and I take you down to my dad's old plot and let me show you what I did there last week that poor pigeon I couldn't bring to put that on the vlog you might be sitting at home eating your dinner watching this video <laughs> I wouldn't want you to see a pigeon with all its insides bared out and that that just didn't start the start the day off very well but down on my dad's allotment plot he did absolutely nothing with it this year I'll stick a picture of what it looked like about a week ago on the video now check it out and I, so I came down here I think it was last Friday evening before the rain set in and I just got my strimmer and I strimmed the whole thing down to nothing. Do you know what? It didn't actually take me that long to do. And I think that's something you've got to remember is that jobs in the allotment don't take that long. It's just mustering up the enthusiasm, motivation to get them done. But take a look at the allotment plot now. And it is literally a blank canvas. There is <laughs> well, basically nothing here apart from my milk bottle with the number of the plot on it but it is literally a blank canvas now <laughs> and stupidly my dad was going to give it up because the weeds were quite high and it wasn't fair on the neighbours for the weeds to go that high so I chopped them all down and I said I'll oh, just give it up you know because I haven't got time to do it myself what we've been in full-time work again now and then I thought over the weekend, I thought, do you know what? Screw that. I'm going to have a blast at this plot. Now, I think for about the last two years, I've gone crazy in the winter trying to transform this plot. If you watch back some of my videos, like going back around about this time of the year, last year and the year before, I always try and do this plot, but it ends up just being a second thought as we head into the growing season I plant some stuff in here doesn't really happen I put some potatoes in it this year and none of those grew so I have decided that I'm going to take this on as a winter project as well but this time I'm going to do it properly I'm not going to just put half assed raised beds or anything like that I'm going to really give it some thought about what to do with this allotment plot so stick around to watch that over the winter months after we've finished doing my main plot but yeah my dad brought down some plastic sheeting and some wood here just some extra sort of things which maybe I could utilize for something I just come down here walking around the allotment plot and just thinking of ideas thinking about what I can do <laughs> and thinking about all the jobs that need doing as well and there is loads but that's okay I'm not down about it or demotivated about it I'm just looking at it thinking yeah there's a lot of work that wants doing so that I can not put the allotment to bed for winter but kind of get it in a position where it just looks good I can walk around in it move around in it and I can start working on little projects and potentially if I can grow one or two things over winter then I'll do that as well but if it's anything like the kale's gone I don't think I'm gonna have much luck doing that fingers crossed those cabbage hold up from the mighty slug fest that we've had in 2024 I don't know, it's been a funny year allotment gardening, it's also been a funny year for me as well, being out of work for the first half of the year and getting all this stuff on my allotment plot looking great and then just as time's gone on I've got busier and busier, I haven't been able to make it down so much and yeah things just slip away so I just get it how people just don't have time to 
you know, make it look like a beautiful garden of Eden. I get it why people, you know, give up allotments and I get it why people, I think, want to have this perfect allotment garden, but realize how much work it actually takes to get it to that point. Because literally two weeks of this slipping and I can see in my mind that it's just lots and lots of things to do, but <laughs> this is Graham's lost the plot and it's not going to get me down at all. I'm just going to take little jobs, little by little, as Oasis once said. And the first thing I'm going to do is harvest everything off this allotment plot. My carrots, my beans, anything else that's worth harvesting, the peppers, I'm going to harvest all those in the next video. So we've got a big harvest that I can take home and then I can start looking at clearing down the allotment for winter. <laughs> I just thought I'd come down today and just show you exactly the state of affairs on my allotment and also that of the project that I've taken on. But it's going to be a fun, exciting autumn and winter time on the channel because there is lots to do. And I do like coming down in the autumn and winter and doing jobs. I do like all the summer stuff, it's watering and watering and constant watering. But yeah, coming down and perhaps being able to build a few things, coming up with some new ideas and getting those implemented in your plot over the winter, particularly on those cold days. I do love him coming down here with the gloves on, the hat on and getting stuck in. So yeah, I'm looking forward to all that, but yeah, just wanted to share it with you today. So hope everybody's well and enjoying their allotment. And I know it's a funny time of year when it's easy to just, I don't know, just stay at home. <laughs> I was very tempted to do that today, but yeah, drag myself down here to uh, have a little wander around and it's given me some more ideas for what I'm going to do but let's get that harvest going mid towards the end, mid end of this week whenever there's a break in this wet weather but thank you very much for watching see you later and take care there's a place I have found in the shade on the ground far from a worries and troubling sound